hello and welcome to this weekend in my life a vlog it is friday and i just signed off of work so it is officially the much needed weekend i can take these off um yeah it was just like a long week it's been a little stressful lately at work but Luckily, I have a job where I get to, you know, not really think about it while I'm not actually working. So I just get to relax. And so tonight, Brian and I are going to have like a little quarantine date night. We're going to pick up some takeout. Well, he's going to pick it up on his way home from work. And we're just going to like have a little date. And yeah, that's, that's kind of what's going on today. I've been wearing this like matching tie-dye sweatshirt thing. Hold on. I'll show you in the mirror. Basically, I did the DIY that everybody is doing. Um, and I used this purple Adidas set that I already had and just bleached it. Um, and now it's got like cute little pink spots all over it. And I think it's really cute. But I haven't worn real clothes in like forever. And Brian's going to have real clothes on from work. So I think I'm going to put on some like jeans and a cute shirt just to like feel cute because I literally have not worn jeans once in quarantine or like real clothes like I've been living in sweatpants which I'm sure like everybody is but just want to feel cute and yeah so I'm gonna change into my little quarantine date night outfit <laughs> all right I just threw on some jeans and this cute little t-shirt from PacSun with little yin yangs on it um, and I'm just wearing a little free people bralette underneath and yeah, just some jeans to make myself feel a little cuter than my sweatpants. Although I have to say, sweatpants sets are cute. Like, I feel cute in them, especially when I wear a set like the one I was just wearing. I feel really put together. So yeah, I still feel cute in my sweatpants. But just some jeans to remind myself what it's like to wear real clothes. So yeah, Brian should be home soon with our food. Um, we ordered from this place called Ignite. No hooked there's a bar and restaurant the bar is called ignite the restaurant's called hooked and neither of us have ever eaten there before but it's supposed to be really good so i'm excited <laughs> Saturday morning it's like 9 30 and I just got out of bed after watching TikToks for a while <laughs> um but like it's Saturday and I'm not working out today so I figured I would just sleep in and just chill in bed for a little bit so that's what I did um last night was fun and there ended up being like a severe thunderstorm warning for a while and we were actually like possibly gonna get a tornado i don't think there was any tornado at all so that's good and it was actually like really mild for what was supposed to be severe but i was scared <laughs> brian was having fun because he likes lightning and stuff and like i like lightning and rain and thunder and all that but like the idea of a possible tornado just like freaked me out so we were literally like sitting on the ground in front of the tv because we didn't want to be too close to the windows um drinking sangria and watching um downhill that's the movie we decided to watch last night it is with will ferrell and julia louis dreyfus and it was interesting wasn't like the best movie it was just kind of like funny though so i liked it um and yeah then we just went to bed and yeah today's gonna be a really chill day i I'm basically just like taking the day to relax because I had a really stressful week um and yeah so we're gonna start off our morning by making bagels I found this well not website I found this recipe on oh wow my hair is an absolute mess I like desperately need some dry shampoo I feel like when I leave my hair curly, which I did yesterday, um, it gets dirtier faster because I have to put more product in it to like keep it tame. 
So yeah, it gets dirtier faster and I definitely need to get some dry shampoo and I have to go to CVS today. So like it's a chill day, but I still have to go do an errand or two. So yeah, back to the bagels. I found a recipe on TikTok. I feel like people have probably seen it already and it's just like two ingredient bagels. And basically you just need self-rising flour. I don't have that, I have regular flour, but then you just add like baking powder and salt and that makes it self-rising flour. Um, and Greek yogurt. So yeah, I actually made them last week and they came out really good. And I just added everything but the bagel seasoning on two of them. And then I added shredded cheese on two of them just to like mimic like an Asiago bagel because that's what Brian likes. Um, and they came out really good. And I actually made some and brought some to my mom because for Mother's Day, Brian and I went down there and just like sat outside six feet apart and he like take out, so yeah. Sorry, Luke, I'm gonna turn you off, buddy. Um, so, these are the, not finished product, but before I put them in the oven, this is what they look like. Um, they do have holes in the middle. I know it's kind of hard to tell because I have so much cheese on top and like dress, not dressing. Oh my God, seasoning. Um, but yeah, basically what they did in the video is they like rolled out the dough and then just linked them up together in a circle. But what I did, I don't know if you saw in the video, um, was just press my thumbs through the middle because I think that's how they make real bagels and I think it makes them more like a New York style bagel. Obviously like they're not, but yeah. So I just put this Mexican shredded cheese is all that we have for shredded cheese. So that's what I put on top. Um, but again, last time, it was good, so. And then everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, and then the egg wash goes on before either of those. But yeah, so I'm gonna put these in the oven now at 350 for like 23 minutes. Um, and then at the end, you have to turn it up high and maybe broil them for a little bit just to brown the outside. All right, so they are in there. I'm just gonna set a timer. I think it was literally 23 minutes. Um, and then while those are cooking, I'm gonna go put on some makeup to feel like a human. Because, well, first of all, I'm using retinol and a vitamin C serum, and you have to have SPF on if you're gonna go outside, which I am at some point. Um, if you're using those, and the only SPF I have is in my It Cosmetics CC cream, so. Also, I just wanna feel like put together so i'm put on some makeup and i'm gonna put my rings back on i took them off to make a dough all right i put some makeup and earrings on just to feel more put together which I do. And now I feel like I have makeup on and my hair doesn't even look that bad. Well, it's still dirty, so. Still need dry shampoo. But my bagels are done and they look so good. Like, who doesn't love just like a fresh bagel? And I, again, like I said earlier, like I just poke my thumbs through the middle to make the holes. Um, and sometimes they go away a little bit, but these ones stayed. And they just like look like, I feel like a like New York kind of bagel. Like obviously not exactly, but, and like real bagels don't look like this on the bottom because they're not baked, or at least not only baked, but they look so good. I can't wait to eat what I'm gonna eat. This one right here, this bad boy. I feel like sometimes I would make like avocado toast out of a bagel or do a bagel with an egg. But I really just want to be simple and have it with cream cheese. Ugh. Like, look at this. It looks like just a regular bagel. It just, it looks like just, like... Like, I'm so excited to eat this. 
and I do have to say they have like a slight like tangy vibe because of the Greek yogurt but once you put cream cheese on it you can't taste it at all and if Brian would like eat something like this then like anybody would and he really liked his bagels so definitely worth a try and literally so easy and they're so fresh also my cream cheese ratio is very high I know and a lot of people find that disgusting but what can I say I like a lot of cream cheese that's the bottom boom all right I just changed real quick to go to CVS I need to put on some pants I'm just wearing these free people leggings and this is actually a Hanes sweatshirt that I bleach dyed myself um and then some adidas and i have masks but i left them all in brian's car so i was trying to figure out what to do for a face covering and i found this tutorial to make a sock into a face mask so i did that i just used like one of these nike socks um and i am aware that why is this not focusing i'm aware that a sock is not ideal um, because it has like small holes in it, but I really don't have anything else. Um, but I feel it is irresponsible to not wear a mask at all. Um, and I'm only going to be in C-Vest for like two minutes. So it's just going to have to do, doing the best that I can. So I'm going to put it on and show you. Hold on. So this is it. It surprisingly like works pretty well, I feel like. It's a little tight. Definitely makes it hard for me to talk, um, but... Again, it is what it is, and it's kind of cute because there's a little Nike on the front, so. Here's my CVS fit. Alright, I just got back, and I got a couple things. I picked up two prescriptions of mine, and then I got some flossers because we're all out of those, and I know this is so gross, but I think I've had, like, chicken stuck in my teeth since last night, and I can't get it out, and we didn't have any floss, so I bought some floss go do that soon um then i got some dry shampoo and some toothpaste because i'm almost out um and then the easter candy was on sale so i just grabbed brian these two like reese's things because why not he likes reese's um yeah so that's why i got cvs and then i picked up two packages on my way back and one is a package that brian ordered from target it has curtains to put up above our couch. I was debating like not putting curtains up there just to like have the openness, um, but then I was thinking about doing sheer curtains. But then the TV started getting glared on by the sun, so Brian wanted to get like actual curtains. So I don't know if the ones that he bought were gonna use forever, but it's what we could find for right now. And we don't have a curtain rod yet, so we can't even hang them up, but I will open them in a second, but more. So, more exciting is I ordered this bowl from CB2 to put on the coffee table. And I have these cute little glass decorations from West Elm that I'm going to put in them. You can need scissors. Um, yeah, we just decided to like revamp things a little bit when we moved into a new apartment. And I think I'm going to show you. I need two hands for this. I think I'm going to show you some of the things that we've added so far since this came anyway. And I do have a lot of things still coming, but I ordered a lot of stuff from West Elm and pretty much everything from there came within like two days, which was awesome. And it makes me want to order from them again. Bad boys really wrapped up. Oh my god, this is big. Like I knew it was big, but I didn't know it was this big.
this thing is massive <laughs> like look at how tall it is and oh my god it's like ginormous but it's good because the glass decorations that i ordered were bigger than i thought so i think they'll actually fit just gonna put this right there for now let me go get the glass decorations and i'll show you put them in all right so these are the glass decorations that I got from West Elm. They're a big and a little glass knot. And I thought this one was going to be a lot smaller. Like, this is the small. This is the large. There was no medium. So I figured the large would be, like, maybe, like, two or three times this size instead of, like, five times this size. Um, but because this bowl is so big and I plan to put them in there anyway because I don't trust them just being out <laughs> I think they would fall over because they do Kind of roll a little bit once you get them at like a certain point they stop but they do kind of roll um, especially this one um, But yeah, so my plan was to put them in here and I think they're gonna fit and actually look Pretty cool I think I like it. It's interesting. Yeah, I think I'm a fan. Um, and then I'm going to order some coffee table books. And I also got this candle. I lit it last night. It's one of those diptyque candles. And it's the berry one. And oh my god. It literally smells so good. I like why well, I keep smelling it. Um, this is really dark. And now it's like too bright. There's no happy medium, but this literally, oh my god, it just smells so good. And I lit it for a while last night because basically every candle I've ever owned, I didn't know you're supposed to burn them for like hours until they go all the way out to the end. I just like would burn them for like an hour or two and it wouldn't be completely burned through the top. So apparently you're not supposed to do that. So I decided to start doing it the right way So I burned it for like six hours last night and I feel like the apartment like still smells like it Like I think it it's a strong scent that doesn't go away, but that's like nice because now the apartment just smells nice Why is this blurry? Um, but yeah, so we got the bowl with the decor Candle is going to be on top of coffee table books. I just don't have them yet And I don't know which ones to order honestly Because a lot of the cute coffee table books are like high fashion, but I feel like that's not really me like I don't think It makes sense. It feels like very inauthentic So I'm trying to find ones that are more me, but also it's just like hard to find cute ones that like actually makes sense to be on my coffee table so if you have any recommendations when you're watching this video comment down below because i'm struggling um but yeah so that's the coffee table <laughs> um let me show you some other things that we did um well this is a big mess but i ordered this little bowl to put in the middle of the table with like avocados and stuff um, and like fruits and I believe it's from Wayfair and I think it's like Gordon Ramsay or something um, but yeah that's cute and then I know it's a mess right now and you can't even like imagine it being cute but then over here we got this little entryway table um, I also got this from Wayfair and I just thought it was really cute and I like the like medium tone wood it kind of matches the coffee table and it's got these two drawers and they're definitely not the best quality drawers but I figured we can throw some mail in there this one honestly doesn't open very well so I'm just gonna leave it but I didn't really buy it for the drawers anyway so it's fine and then I got this tray from West Elm to put like keys and sunglasses and stuff and like brian really likes to just drop his stuff off when he walks in the door so i figured this would be a good place to just toss his stuff maybe put shoes there i keep this purse here just because it's pretty much the only one i use now 
um because i don't leave that often <laughs> so and i think i'm gonna get a coat rack and put it in this corner right here because again brian just likes to toss stuff so that would make it the easiest instead of right now i like Every time he puts his jacket down on like a chair up there, I go and hang it up in our closet and it'd just be so much easier if there was a coat rack, but yeah, I really like this entryway table. I didn't get to have a little space like this in other apartment, so I think it's really nice to have. And I thought it might be a little squished over here, but I actually think it works pretty well, so fan. Um, and then I have this rug and I really need to buy a rug grip because I don't have one right now and it's just kind of sliding all over the place, especially with bagels. But yeah, that's that. And then I think the only other stuff I have so far, because I ordered some more stuff, it's just not here yet, is I kind of was inspired by Maggie McDonald. She has a jewelry box and like little tray um, on her little, well, she thinks she has a dresser, but I don't need a dresser. So I got this. It's like a, a version of the jewelry box that she has. It's like smaller and has less compartments because I don't have as much stuff. Um, but I just put all my jewelry in there. And then basically I've been putting like my everyday jewelry up here and like my sunglasses that I usually wear. But I just wore them so they're out there. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks really nice because we didn't really have anything on this in the other apartment. I just didn't really know what to do with it. So yeah, and then this tray is also from West Elm. Oh, and I did get another one of those little marble trays to put in the kitchen. And I just put olive oil and salt and pepper on it. Um, I just thought it looked cute. I had these little blocks that my aunt had given me because she had gotten samples um, for her kitchen. And they were like marble or quartz or something. And they were like nice, but they looked so raw because they were just like samples of granite and quartz um, or marble quartz, whatever. So I decided to get something a little more like polished and I think they look really nice. So yeah. Oh, by the way, the bagels that I made, I had them on this like cookie, not cookie, cake tray right here in the corner and bagels started going after it. I don't know where she is, but she started trying to get them, so I had to put them in this thing instead, but I thought that was funny. I thought I'd share. Um, so now I think I'm going to, well first I'm gonna clean up this lovely mess over here. And then I'm going to either do my nails or take a break and like read for a while because I really wanted to read this weekend. I have been reading books for the Redhead Book Club, which is a podcast, and if you don't listen to it, you should. It's R-E-A-D-H-E-A-D -E -E Book Club, and basically the girl who started it is Jackie Oshray, who is one of the girls that does the morning toast, her and Claudia Oshray, um, and then their sister is in the book podcast, Margot, and her two other friends, um, Dana and Rebecca, and... Yeah, it's just a really fun podcast, fun way to get you to read. <laughs> I definitely, like, I love reading, but it's hard to motivate me to read, but, like, knowing that I want to listen to the podcast about the book makes me want to read, so then I read it. Um, anyway, right now, the book is Glass Hotel. I admittedly have not started it yet, um, but it's called Glass Hotel, and I... I'm just now starting to read on a tablet because I was just reading like hard copy books um, but those kind of like pile up you know and then you just like have books laying around and I'm not one to read a book like twice um, so what was I saying oh Brian had this tablet and so he found it and we've been both been reading on it but yeah so reading that book and then uh, yeah, I'm either going to do that or paint my nails right now. I haven't decided which, so... I think I'm going to read first, because I just kind of want to, like, chill. <laughs> So I 
actually ended up painting my nails before reading because one of my nails was like breaking and it was really bothering me. Um, but I just did this cute hot pink color. I just wanted something kind of like neon. It looks a little more neon in person in the camera. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like, well now it's not focusing at all. It actually almost looks red in this light, but it is hot pink. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, I just wanted something fun and bright, so I did that. And I actually got some new gel polishes, and that's one of the ones I used. Um, I used Kiera Sky. It's like a more professional nail polish brand that like actual salons use. Um, and I ordered a couple colors, and I just ordered a couple more from them, and so far they work really well. I feel like they stay and look much better than like the Sally Hansen ones I was using. Um, oh, and it is gel. Like I've been using um, this little Sally Hansen LED light that I have um, to do gel polish, so yeah. This one is called Pink Passport. And again, it's just this really cute hot pink color. That I think is really nice for like spring and summer and I might like self tan tomorrow um, and I think this color looks really nice with the self tan so yeah anyways now I'm going to read and relax